Let's talk about how we can add our planner covers, add stickers, inserts, and all the fun things uh, that make digital planning really fun and unique. So let's first put a cover on our planner. So to do that, you're going to go to the add button at the top here. And we are going to, since this is the first page, we're going to put it before this for our cover page. And we're gonna go to import. And right now my stickers are showing up, but um, I'm just gonna press the back button. I'll show you how to get there. So um, when I go to import, you'll see, you know, essentially your iCloud drive. I'm gonna go to my downloads like I did earlier when I was importing my planner, click on my weekly bundle, go to my planner cover. And you know what? I am going to add the beautiful stripe. I, you know, it's snowing where I'm at right now, so I could use a little bit of a beach vibe going on. So I'm gonna add that. And there I have it. And so that is my cover. And if I wanted to add it to my back, I'm actually gonna go to the last page, which would be the stickers tab. And I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm going to add and I'm going to import. Hold on, when I add it. I wanna make sure I do last page, click last page, import, and I'm going to do the back. And so now I have my Moxley Life covers, and if I ever wanted to change them, all I would have to do is click those three dots, and I would just say move to trash, and then it would say this page will be moved to the trash bin, I trash it, and it's no longer there, and I could change it up and add a new planner cover if I want it. So that is kind of how we add and change our planner covers. So let's talk about how we can incorporate stickers into our digital planner and how we can import them. So one thing that was important to us, we wanted to create a tab that could house all of your favorite stickers, despite what application that you have. So within GoodNotes, they have certain features that allow it to make it a little bit more easier to store stickers. But if you're using another application, you will want a place within your planner. So we definitely created this um, space within our planner to do that and to have that tab. And so I'm going to go over two ways that you could store stickers within GoodNotes. Now I will say uh, that there are certain sticker shops and companies that have digital sticker books and stickers that are formatted for GoodNotes where you're able to import the sticker just like we imported our planner and you actually, and it's like in a GoodNotes file. So that's also something to consider when you are choosing an application for your iPad is that um, there are a lot more things tailored towards GoodNotes. So one of the ways that we can add stickers is uh, through the split screen view. So I'm gonna add, click these three dots and I'm going to pull up my file application and I'm going to go back to my stickers folder. And let's say I wanted to add my goal stickers. So I'm gonna scoot this over just a tad I wanna to go to my sticker page and I just wanna make sure I have these saved so I can easily mark my stretch goals. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this and I wanna drag it over and there it is. And I'm gonna do that with all of the stickers and it's just simple, you hold it down and you move it over. So now um, I no longer have to come back to this particular file when I may need this sticker, but I can just click on that sticker tab within my planner and have easy access to the sticker. I'm gonna move these last two over. And then I'm able to change the sides. I can rotate it. Um, and kind of going back to this whole lasso tool, all I have to do is I can circle it and I can copy it and then I can paste it on another page if I need to. Um, that's kind of like the fun part with digital planning is that it's a lot of flexibility and freedom. So that's one way that you can add stickers to your um, digital planner is using the split screen view and just dragging and dropping. Now, my favorite thing to do is I would love, like versus having to even do all of that, is I love utilizing this feature up here in GoodNotes and let's say i so there's different things that you can create like this is the sticky note tab these are mind map shapes and these are some that are included within the good note system 
but it gives me permission to add my own little sticker section. So I want to create a new sticker collection and I'm gonna label it my Moxie Life stickers. Let's spell correctly, Darian. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to import from, and I'm going to import from our planner stickers. I'm gonna do our flags first, and I'm just gonna click, and there it is, import. And I'm just gonna add these stickers this way. These are all my Moxie Life flags. And so the Good Notes is going to store all these stickers for me versus me having to, um, you know, go back and forth with this file. So I'm just gonna continue to add these. And this is how you would do it. You would just import it um, from your actual sticker file. Our, um, oh, I repeated one. I want the light turquoise one, I want the light green, and then the light gray. Okay, and I'm gonna press create. And there I have it. So now, whenever I need to access these stickers versus if I didn't want to um, save them to this particular sticker tab back here, my sticker page, I can easily access them right here and I can just click on it and it pulls up my sticker and it's already there and they're all stored. So um, that is one of my favorite features. And the one thing that I love about this feature as well, which um, I will come back to when we talk about some fun tips and tricks is that I'm able to save, um, if I wanted to, I could save templates or inserts as well um, within this feature as well. So that is how we import our Moxie Life stickers. And if at any point you guys have any questions about what I'm doing, uh, definitely, definitely leave us a comment below and we'll be sure to um, help you out as well. Now let's talk about how we can insert our inserts. And just like we did with our stickers at first, I'm going to do this through split screen. I'm gonna click those three dots at the top of my iPad. I'm gonna go to my files. I'm going to pull up my inserts, my planner inserts. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop them because our inserts are saved as PNG files and not PDFs, which we will talk about later on um, at the end of the video, how we would um, insert PDFs, which would be a little bit different. So I just dragged and dropped them over just like I did with my stickers. And you know what, let me put the weekly overview over here because that's how it is in our daily. I'm gonna switch these. And as you can see, I'm just changing the size of these uh, to fit our pages because they are formatted to fit um, the particular daily layout. Oh, I made a double. I'm just gonna size them up. Size it up because I don't wanna see my lines. And so now I have a daily overview if I need to. So let's say that I wanted to save these particular inserts and not have to do the drag and drop every time I wanted to add this insert, particularly in GoodNotes. I would go back to my sticker function and I would click on, you know, my Moxie Life stickers and I would just add these inserts and I would just import them and I would go to planner inserts. I would add the daily and the dailies there and then I would add the weekly overview and the weekly overviews there. And it's done so now when I need to add them I can just click here and it's already there ready for me to go um, another thing to note um, depending on which page like I just put this down on our notes page but say I wanted to add um, this particular layout to my weekly spread um, all I would have to do is I would just go to January let's go let me go back to non-editing mode. Click on January, go to the week of. Now, do I wanna put it on this page? Say, you know, if I don't wanna use my weekly overview, I could easily put it on this page, but let's say I still wanted to use this weekly overview page. All I would have to do is copy this page and how we copy this page, and this is the same for if you wanted to add more note pages, you would just simply go to this add button and you would say current template, and now I just have two pages, right? And so I'm gonna go to the second one 
And now I'm going to go back to editing mode and I'm going to add my daily page. Nope, the daily one. There we go. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I don't want to see, I'm a little bit extra. I don't want to see the lines behind there. And just so I can have the same size, I'm going to copy it and then paste. And now I have my weekly and then I have my daily. And all I would do again, if I wanted more daily pages within this particular week, um, is just again, add current template and then repeat the process. Very, very simple. And the one thing I love about putting my daily pages actually with my weekly overview is that I still have that hyperlink. So then I'm able to go to, let me turn off editing mode, go to my weekly actions for that particular week and still have my daily page. And so, and then I can just easily save it for easy access, go to my weekly actions, pull up my favorites, and go to my daily. Just simple ways to easily switch between my plans and my goals. Okay, so we talked about um, how to add stickers, inserts, add your planner cover pages, but I really quickly just want to show you how to add more note pages, which was very similar to how we added our inserts. So if I'm on a note page and I just want more note pages, again, I would just click this button up here, the add page button and click current template, current template, current template. And now I have as many note pages as I want. And like I said, it's really easy and we encourage you to add as many as you want, but be careful when it comes to deleting. Um, I personally always like um, copying the page first before um, I even think about deleting anything because we wanna be careful um, not to delete our hyperlinks. Okay, Moxie fam, let's talk about how we can maximize this color palette and incorporate it into GoodNotes as well when it comes to changing the colors of our pens and our highlighter. So if I wanted to write with a certain color or highlight over a certain color um, and get things to coordinate, I'm able to do that. So I have on my pen feature, again, these are my colors. Um, all I would have to do is I would wanna click on that particular color. And I, I already have a few of them already uploaded, but um, I want to go to custom and then cuss, this is where I would add the hex codes. And so I would just simply type in the hex code color and add that. Now, the easiest way that I find to do this, honestly, is if I, you know, zoom in. And the one thing I love about digital planning is I can easily copy this, go back to editing mode, click the color, custom, and then paste it. And then I add it. And now I have that color. I repeat the process, copy, go back, custom, paste, add the color, and then it's there. And so now when I write, I have my Moxie Life colors. And I just think this is so cool and creative. It's one of my favorite little fun features and like, um, the same thing, it works with the highlighter as well. You would do the same process. I have all the Moxie Life colors um, already set up. And so when I'm writing my weekly actions, I might type it, but then when I'm done with something, I can highlight over it. And so with that uh, coordinating color that relates to that goal. And so that's how you would just add the hex codes to um, your pins and your highlighters and change them.